I'm just noting what's super obvious that's the caldera of a volcano like this Yellowstone thing. We thought it was just this crazy place with hot springs like no that's a super volcano that is a continent killer a sleeping beast is a bank to awaken I'm merely calling for an acknowledgement of what we're watching she's not what and I'm not we're talking about a 100 foot wide crack that's appeared on the super volcano underneath Yellowstone National Park. And guess what scientists warn us this drastic change has amplified Yellowstone's sudden eruption risk via hopping 320%. And when it happens, it'll be a catastrophe, so let's dive right in and uncover all the details Norris Giza Basin and Steamboat contributing to the increased risk. But before we get into the details, let's get you brushed up with some facts. So for starters, we're venturing into the heart of Yellowstone's oldest thermal sanctuary, the Norris Giza Basin, a blistering region with thermal features dating back a jaw-dropping 115,000 years here. The temperature dares to scale to an astonishing 459 degrees Fahrenheit, just a thousand feet beneath the surface. But there's more here resides the Steamboat Giza, a true testament to Yellowstone's dynamic landscape. This towering 400-foot-tall Giza used to be a rare spectacle erupting occasionally with unpredictable pauses, stretching between four days to 50 years. But hold on the game changed in March 2018. Now Steamboat struts its grandeur as often as once a week its 32 eruptions in 2018 shattered previous records only to outdo itself with an astonishing 48 eruptions the following year which begs the question is this linked to the increase in the sudden eruption risk by 320%? Let's find out as it turns out the geezer's erratic behavior is merely a fraction of the story scientists are captivated by the rhythmic dance of the basin itself in an eight-year span from 1996 an 18-mile long strip, rose nearly 5 inches only to dip back down by almost 3 inches in the next 8 years then out of nowhere it surged up again at an unprecedented pace of almost 6 inches a year. A powerful 4.9 magnitude earthquake shook the basin in March 2014 stalling this relentless uplift. Since then the ground is oscillated between sinking and rising until 2019 when it finally began to descend yet today the basin sits proud standing about 5 inches taller than it did in 2000. But can there be another factor contributing to the 320 increase you under well the hint is a supervolcano supervolcano means super destruction a supervolcano eruption under Yellowstone National Park would be unlike anything the world has ever witnessed supervolcano means super destruction a super volcano eruption under Yellowstone National Park would be unlike anything the world has ever witnessed the biggest natural threat to human existence on earth is posed by the 20 super volcanoes that exist the Yellowstone super volcano has only erupted three times in the past 2.1 million years despite scoring an 8 out of 8 on the volcanic explosivity index the fourth time might be sooner than you think a 640 year old eruption was the most recent according to volcanologists. When that happens, an explosion will release toxic gas that would destroy crops and disrupt electricity supplies all the way to the Midwest the United States would then experience insanely cold temperatures as a poisonous cloud would block the sun for years. It will be the greatest catastrophe since the dawn of civilization. According to the European Science Foundation, the worst part cracks have started to appear literally in 2018 Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming closed down because of a massive crack due to a potential safety issue hidden falls and inspiration point were closed and park rangers carried out a risk assessment process a source at the u.s geological survey claims that the rock face crack is a typical rockfall related risk the yellowstone supervolcano which last erupted hundreds of years ago and held 240 cubic miles of rock ash and volcanic dust into the sky as well as leaving a 34 by 50 mile depression in the ground is close to Grand Teton National Park. We're talking about a 100-foot wide crack folks supervolcanoes are an ultra-catastrophe that poses the threat of wiping out humanity yup just like asteroids and nuclear or biological warfare. The world might be destroyed by the eruption. But is this being taken as seriously as it should be? Nope. There will probably never be a year in which no one dies in an aviation accident. But there will never be a year in which a single plane crash kills 10% of the world's population. In contrast to volcanic programs, the Federal Aviation Administration spends more than $7 billion a year on aviation safety even. Supervolcanoes pose a greater long-term threat than regular catastrophes. We have the ability to prevent these disasters, but we choose to ignore them 
leaving ourselves vulnerable. Yellowstone National Park has an active volcano directly on its grounds. While it has been a national park since 1872, scientists only fully understood the size and threat of the volcano in the 1980s. Yellowstone's eruptions can be thousands of times more powerful than Mount St. Helens in 1980, with the northern Rockies covered in feet of volcanic ash. Geologists are studying the hidden architecture of Yellowstone to determine the likelihood and severity of future eruptions. Supervolcanic eruptions are extremely rare and challenging to predict due to their complexity. Yellowstone's magma chambers, revealed through research, are piled on top of each other with non-melted rock in between. Minor eruptions of lava flows are frequent, but the potential for a catastrophic eruption remains. Other cauldrons in California also pose risks. If a supervolcano erupts, it would release a significant amount of ash and sulfur into the air, causing crop failures and potentially affecting the environment. Supervolcanoes are deadly due to the enormous pressure buildup before a violent eruption, and their eruptions can cover large areas with lava and volcanic ash. Yellowstone has experienced several major eruptions in the past, with the most recent occurring 630,000 years ago. While the risk of a super eruption is low, the attention Yellowstone receives is due to the potential for catastrophic events. The volcano is capable of engulfing the Midwest in feet of volcanic ash, causing significant damage. Although smaller eruptions are more common, the possibility of a disastrous super eruption is why Yellowstone is closely monitored. A potential doomsday looms over Yellowstone National Park as scientists warn of a significant surge in the risk of a sudden eruption. Volcanologists have been monitoring the park's activity since 1923, noting a remarkable rise in ground elevation by 25 centimeters between 2004 and 2009, followed by a sudden sinking in 2010. The increasing risk, estimated at 320%, is compounded by the park's frequent seismic activity experiencing between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes annually. If an eruption were to occur, the consequences would be catastrophic. Scientists predict that major portions of Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and Utah would be obliterated, with the northern Rockies covered in three feet of volcanic ash. Even regions far from the epicenter would face severe impacts, including ruined farmlands, obstructed roads, and potential respiratory issues. The eruption's global effects would create a volatile climate, with lowered temperatures and potential famines. As scientists continue to monitor Yellowstone's rumblings, the pressing question remains. When will it happen, and will it be too late? Join us on this thrilling journey for more on this nerve-wracking 320% surge in the risk of a sudden eruption at Yellowstone.